What is happening in Blackpool today? So as you can tell, we're all booked for wrestling, ready for order. Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. I wasn't really planning on doing a video today, but I've been told we're at Prime Burgeries. So you haven't seen my last video, I went to the Chris Higgins Pound Burger and the one in the arcade and people were telling me about the other one. So I don't want to just have a little wonder around. Coming up to the Blackpool Tower as you can see and it is quite a busy day today on the promenade. It is 3 o'clock in the afternoon on a Monday but all the schools have broken up or will be breaking up anytime soon. We got the police going up and down the promenade it looked like. Probably keeping eyes and stuff about and seeing the no trouble happening. Cloud is looking a bit grey. It had been raining all morning in Blackpool. But this afternoon looked like it clearing up and the sun is coming out a bit. So let hope we can get that tiny bit more of good weather. Why do you think Chris Higgins is so famous? Do you think it's because he's been doing it such a long time and he's kept his prices so low? Um, I mean, there's a lot of competition jumping up a lot of these pound burgers. So why do you think people should choose Chris Higgins um, against another one? Well, that's what a lot of people mentioned in the last video. That, um He's quite a bubbly guy on camera and in, in got that nice energy what you need when you put a camera so i think and like we said he's been doing it for so long now i think he probably was the, one of the first people in blackpool to do this like that one mentioned you know, a couple of comments and stuff a lot of people always don't copy what you're doing i like take tiktok uh, um, for example you have the spud man doing selling spuds and then like a year later we got lots of businesses i'm not saying in copying but people always get inspired by others what are doing super well yeah i mean he has been doing it for years chris i mean he's he, seen on tv yeah he's seen on tv TikTok. he is famous probably not just in the uk but probably not all over the world who visit blackpool so it'd be interesting um to see how all these others you know in a few months a few years if they're still going or they hike the prices up i know chris has kept his prices down so low and he is like i said famous for all that so i'm actually quite excited for uh, another review from yourself so uh yeah we'll uh, we'll keep going and uh see what we come up with eh sound good to me coming up to central pier park and i think i spot a bit too soon i can feel some spits in the air hopefully nothing comes from it but just over in the distance we got the blue statues what is coming soon for the hot off to see 2024 so it probably something to do with the light turn on and if you don't know by now the switch on like the music bit is free this year normally you needed to pay like a fee but this year it's free you got the big wheel dust in the distance Look like no one on there at the minute, or less than um, getting people ready at the bottom. We got the donkeys on the beach today. The sea is out, we got a bit of sand, and people enjoying the bit of sand while they can. I think I'll be expecting some big things here because a couple of people did let me know about this place after my last video. So it's just right in front of the Mark Kelly's. And whoever said you were right in front of the Mark Kelly's and stuff like that, you are bang on with your location. It is easy to see. So I'll flip the camera around. So we also got our other food unit. Just on the promenade. AJ's Double Burgers, famous. Is everyone just using the word famous now to draw people in? Or is that actually famous? 
You got gift for you, promenade, promenade gift. And also, slots of fun, home to slots. And someone else did say it were here also, the slots of fun. So here we go, let's go try it out. So as you can tell, not all cooked correctly, but it's for order. Right then guys, I've just kind of see went to the Prime Burger, but I never wanted to be on video I'm afraid. But you need to respect them with this, it is them business at the end of the day. But here I am watching out for the seagulls, what is hanging around. So I don't have to show you what we got. So the Blackpool lad got a hot dog and a cheeseburger with onion. Then I just got a normal burger with onion to keep it the right, well that what I ordered from the rest. So let took him and I'll show you inside the burger. Sorry about the camera angle, it looked like it on a bit on, on a wonk, but yeah again, a seagull is signing up the burger. So this the burger, got red sauce, uh, quite a um, thickest sized burger, yet again. Got some onion, and all this for one pound. So, let's give it a try. And to be fair, they're not that bad. So everyone who told me to, everyone who recommended it and told me to go and try it, they did well there. They really did. They're not greasy as well. Inside the burger. So I'll eat this. I'll and then I'll come back. And I'll give you my opinion on all three what I already tried so far. So I just finished the burger now, just right near Central Pier. The big wheel is going around, the little wheel going around. And the wheelhouse cap looked like it opened. And here we have got Elvis. So let's speak about all the burgers now, shall we? So in the last video I did the arcade and Chris's famous one pound burger as he would say and then today I just done the prime burger well the, from the prime shop is it me or is that moose it seems to be getting louder when it behind me right let's try again so yeah out of the three burgers I got to say Chris's were the most friendliest one out of the three and um, there was a 10 minutes wait at the arcade so didn't do that so you will spend some money in that arcade that was all important and that could be a true palm or do it take or do it actually take them like a bit of time to get everything cold be purred cooked but out of all the three i'll say them pretty much all roughly the same we even got the last guard gone past on the quad bike so i don't know what happened in there but out of all the three well it's said well the arcade one were a bit burnt around the edges a tiny bit but yeah there we go, that's my thoughts on the burgers. I can't really put them in any type of order. Maybe the arcade one I'll put last after trying that one. But I'll need to say, Chris's and the Prime Burger probably tied. But you guys asked me, can I do it? And I've gone out on there and done it for you. If you want any more, you want me to go record anything else it don't need to be food it don't need to be stuff like that that it might be a certain area where you used to grow up or it might just be a memory of what you want to see so just let me know down in the comments and i will try and sort that out so let's just have a little more wonder on the prom and see what's happening and this is how they must transport the donkeys to the beach and back to the 
Just go home. Got the lifeguard just down there, still on the beach. But I thought I'll give you a bit of a um, beach update. Which well, I do like giving you guys a bit of a beach type of update. Just right next to North Pier again now. The sea is out, but it looks like it might be coming in. You've got a couple of puddles in the middle. So it is perfect to have a nice roll on the beach. Not really that windy. It is, but not. Not compared to what we do get in Blackpool. And if you've ever been to Blackpool before or watched it, some of my videos, you'll know how windy you can get. I normally would say perfect for the dogs, but you're not allowed to walk your dogs between North Pier and Central Pier. From the other side of North Pier, you're allowed from like North Pier to Biston, and set yet again from South Shore Pier to the Pleasure Beach, you're allowed, but not in between. Uh, from Central Pier to South South Shore Pier, so I say. Walk about, looking a bit quiet. I think they sell food in there also, but yeah. Uh, uh, um, I only did the burgers and like um, a follow up and with people mentioning about it. So I thought I'll go try it. And just like put it into like a walk around video. That was at the start, and so it's like the best of both worlds. It is amazing to see down here when it's all quiet like this, but it's at night time, definitely on a Friday, Saturday night, when the weather is quite nice. Get quite heaving down this road. Right then, guys, I think that's done by the end of this video. If you did enjoy this type of content, so then please hit that like button if you want to see any more videos like this one hit the subscribe button and you don't want to miss any upcoming videos turn on the notification bell and i'll see you on the next one bye for now